channel lately I have been doing lots of different videos like you can see in the background you have my photo lights and if you don't see it here in my camera but I'm doing this off the webcam and there's a reason I'm doing it off the webcam for now uh, it's mainly because I got asked this uh, very recently uh, I got sent a message saying what's the best way to start doing YouTube videos and uh, I've got to go out and get this I have to get lights I have to get a decent mic and to be honest with you, if you've got one of these, an iPhone, or any phone that's decent these days, where's my Samsung? Or Samsung, or a webcam built in your laptop, or webcam general, you can do videos, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, I started out on doing webcam and I had a little Kodak Z. What I think it was it was really really bad quality uh, When you look at what I do now really bad quality uh, Sound wasn't brilliant and I just basically upgraded my equipment at time You've got to remember I'm two three years on now in my YouTube channel and I just added more Layers to my uh, production, but if you're looking to start I would say you can learn the basic ed editing if you've got editing software and editing tools, but 9 times out of 10 most people don't have that. What I was doing from a day-to-day -day basis was when I was doing videos, hitting record, stopping record once I got to finish, so I was going like this now and all the time, and just going in and out. That's how I do my videos now, but I edit that out. I edit out the uh, stopping and starting and recording. And like a, a lot of the stuff that I've got for my uh, video now is stuff I've got over time. It's been gradually upgrade, right, I need to upgrade this camera, upgrade the camera. I need to upgrade this sound, upgrade sound. I need to have a better webcam to do high quality videos. I was using this webcam, which is very good, but not the high quality that you want. And I was using the sound of that, and the sound was good but not brilliant so then I upgraded to my snowball microphone now a lot of people uh, either used snowball or the Yeti I am very happy with the snowball I am tempted by the Yeti but it's a lot of money for what I need it for right now if anything happened to go wrong with the snowball I probably would go up for a Yeti but that's a long time coming uh, I used to edit on uh, my PC but not well using Windows Movie Maker and then I stopped editing and then I got my Mac Mini and I edited on iMovie and got very good at iMovie then started moving on to Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro again it's all those things that expensive where you and I saved and saved and saved to get my, uh, the get everything I wanted to get to where I am now and even now I'm still on and on at times if I could do better if the things I could improve on I'd love to get a Rode mic to sit on top of this and use this to do a bit of video uh, on it using the hot shoe but I don't know if it's worth it yet because I love I love using the Canon I really do like using my Canon camera to zoom videos, it's a lot easier for me. It means this camera can, my Nikon D3200 can just be used as photography and not used too much for filming. I like the idea of having two different cameras. I may get a uh, mic on it one day if I can be bothered uh, to do so. My next couple of things that I will be upgrading, aka video wise and maybe a little bit camera wise is that I want to eventually get a better tripod something a little bit heavier than that but my next thing is to replace my camera bag as I'm hopefully going away in ooh, let's have a look end of October so for about three days 30th I'm probably going away on the 30th of October till the 2nd for uh, 
four day coming back on the Saturday uh, going to Edinburgh uh, for a couple of days with friends and which I'm really looking forward to but I really want to take my camera with me and for doing that I will need a good camera back so I'm still looking at one ones at the moment uh, I'm looking at a couple the, the crumpler light which is a lot of them it's a hundred quid but it might worth it and there's another one I'm looking at which I really like as well so a lot of it's down to what I can afford and what I like to use uh, but like I said if you're just starting doing videos use what you can if it's your iPhone if it's your smartphone or your iPhone or your iPod all I will say when you're uploading make sure you've got it this way and the amount of times I see people who upload a video and they'll do that, do the usual upload thing and it'll go that way and the entire video is then sitting down and it's not right so make sure you watch your stuff back, don't just upload straight from the fly make sure you have a look at what you're doing and know that it's the right way around because I can't stress enough that it is very important to watch your uh, videos at the end of it uh, to make sure they're fine to make sure you've not done any mistake to make sure the sound fine it's the big thing to make sure you watch your own work yes I've been doing the pages and I'm still not a big fan of listening to my own voice I hate it but you have to do it uh, you you get you get past it and you start getting used to it so always watch your video before you put them up and I've made mistakes in my previews and reviews but probably when I do my reviews they're like 10 minutes some of them are 10 minutes long and it takes me a long time at times even if I make mistakes or with my fits and stuff to get videos going and get up uh, so and the main thing is have fun don't make it to the thing that you think oh monetize this I'll make money on it do it because you enjoy it and if you enjoy it then you'll get more out of it so that's my little bit of advice for you anyway guys I'll see you later bye